a bit long. Told at the bottom I stayed up late last night writing this but the post was deleted this morning for breaking rule number 3. In the few hours it was up I got some great advice. Thanks everyone for the responses. I have rephrased my original post to abide by the rules. I've also added a few things people asked in the comments. I hope this stays up so I can respond to you guys slash gals. I believe this to be the correct sub. It's embarrassing to us and I have not discussed it with many people I know girl. I've been lurking Reddit for years and this seems like the perfect avenue to talk about this. I don't believe anyone else involved uses Reddit. A little background. My, 3am, big, 2am, has always been a strange guy. No social skills, common sense, or street smarts. Never had a job in his life at the time. He went to school 7 to 8 years, has a master's, but couldn't get into any schools to get his doctorate. As far as I know, this is when he went from weird to violent. He was back living at home figuring out his next steps. We knew there were issues. Mill would text my wife to have me come over to settle him down. I'd get there and he'd have something destroyed in their house for some reason. He was usually calm enough by the time I got there, but it didn't click with me how bad it must have been for them to call me in the first place. I was about to see firsthand the terror he truly was. One day Mill texts my wife to have me come over now. I drive over, walk through their house, doors were all wide open, and can't find anyone. They live in the country so I just start walking around the timber. I started hearing voices so I walk towards them. I see Big on the other side of a creek. He is yelling, cussing, and appears to be stomping around. When I get close enough to see down into, the creek, I see his father on his stomach in the water, trying to keep his head above it. Big is kicking him in the head and Phil is not even attempting to defend himself anymore. I was not prepared for this. I was wearing pajama pants and work boots. I jump across, grab Big by his throat and took him down. I look back to check Phil and all he can manage to say is hold him down, he's trying to kill me the creek bank wasn't flat, we were sliding down and our feet were in the water. I tried to reposition myself for better leverage but I slipped in the mud. Big kicked me and suddenly I am on my back in the water. He pounced on me while my head was still underwater. It dawned on me in that moment that I was literally fighting for my life. I managed to get my feet under me and stand up. We exchanged a few blows, but we were mostly holding on to each other fighting for balance. Mud was halfway up our knees at this point. I felt like whoever lost their balance first would end up drowning. That's where my head was at. For this reason I did not try to take him down. He eventually said he was done, so we let go and backed away from each other. He left so I checked on his dad. He swallowed a lot of nasty creek water, and had a bunch of teeth knocked out, found out later he had significant rib bruising. He was practically unable to move but I dragged him out of the water at least. I hear Mill a distance away yelling for my help again. Didn't hear exactly what she said but I heard the word gun. I spotted him 150 meters away going the opposite direction so I followed. By the time I get there Mill has convinced him to drop the shotgun. I cleared the weapon, tied him up with rope Mill had, and took him to the hospital. This is where I messed up. I should have contacted the police and made a report as soon as he was checked in. I told the nurse and doctor that he was a danger to himself and others. But they only knew about the attempted suicide. I let Big explain why he was there, and Mill asked me not to tell them everything. She said he was where he needed to be and that he was going to get the help he needed. It made sense at the time, but I was full of adrenaline, immediate crisis was over, and I hadn't processed everything yet. The entire time I was at the hospital, every word out of Big's mouth was pure madness. I could never describe it accurately. I thought for sure he was going to be institutionalized. Well apparently mental health resources in this country are virtually non-existent. He was put on psych hold for less than a week. When I, found out he was going to be released I was pissed and went to the police. I filed a report but there was nothing they could do because they didn't see the scene. His mom told him he needed to apologize to everyone. So he did apologize a full week after he got out in a text. Sorry for my behavior, I'm working on being better, love you man I didn't respond. Now he blames me for everything. How terrible it was being basically in jail, how my wife and I weren't there for him when he needed us the most. Just blows my mind. I was there when you needed me the most. He moved a thousand miles away because of us. He has a job now, and this all happened almost two years ago. In that time my wife and I had not talked to him. Pretty sure he actually had us blocked. He did my wife at least. All news we got about him was from his parents. We found out he was coming home, for Thanksgiving, Mill says whoever wants to be here can be here. We said we would not be there if he was. Well wouldn't you know Big reached out to his sister about moving forward. My wife is still in therapy over all this, something my big has not done to my knowledge. She has supported me 100% on the no contact. But she did respond to him saying that they needed to start small to regain trust. He liked her text and we avoided him over the holidays. She messaged him later about a show they used to watch and he didn't reply. 
when she told Mill she said that he was hurt over her not wanting to see him. This just proves to me that he has had no growth since the incident. It feels like this is building towards Christmas when he comes back again. If not then it will someday. I firmly believe she needs to block him and go no contact. As someone pointed out, he shouldn't be dictating terms. I know he is blood, but he is dangerous and has not gotten help. It is only a matter of time before he kills somebody or himself. How do I approach this with my wife? Told, Big lost it and tried to kill his family. Still has taken no responsibility for what happened. After nearly two years of no contact, Big messaged wife that he is ready to move forward. I want to convince wife to block him and go no contact. 